to be trying to balayage slash light my hair at home. I'm super excited but really, really nervous. But before we get into that, I have a special guest who wants to say hi to you guys. Hi. Hi. It's my sister in law, Elizabeth. <laughs> but yeah, she waited just to say hi to you guys, so y'all should feel very special. But alrighty, guys, so getting into the products I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be trying this L'Oreal Frost and Design. This one is in. H85 Champagne. This is what I'm going to be doing for like the highlights. And then if it comes out a little bit too light or if I want to blend it in a little bit more, I haven't decided, but I might be using this one. This is the L'Oreal Paris, um, how do you say this? Feria? Excuse me, I don't know how to pronounce that. But this one is in B61 High Lift Cool Brown. And the shade that I'm going to be using is Downtown Brown. Now, I believe I have used this before, but I actually used this one to give me little highlights when I was younger, a little bit more natural, but I'm going to go a little bit lighter this time, so let's see how this works. And then I am also, I also got the L'Oreal Paris Color Vibrancy Purple Shampoo, and I got the conditioner. Now, this is so cool. I did not know that they had these, so I thought that was really cool find. And then I also got a little bit of the hair oil just to soften my hair, just in case if it gets damaged. But yeah, you guys, I'm super excited. Let's see how this goes. I'm so nervous. I hope it turns out good. <laughs> Alright guys, so I did go ahead and straighten it just so I can get a little bit more precise highlights in there. But this is what it looks like before. You can see it's very dark, almost to the ends. So this is what it looks like inside. It's the back. Other side. But yeah, guys, I'm super excited and nervous. Let's see. Oh, and before that, I have another guest who would like to say hi to y'all. This is my other sister-in-law. Say hi, Alyssa. Hi. <laughs> Alright guys, let's see how this goes. Oh my god, you guys. I have a gray hair. I'm officially getting old. You know what? I'm not gonna. Did you get it out? I did. Bye bye, gray hair. No. <laughs> not in this head. Alrighty, guys. So, as you can see, I went ahead and just put one section. Well, technically two because the bottom. But I'm gonna start with the bottom since that one takes a little bit longer to process because your scalp is gonna be so hot at the top that it kind of heats it up faster and goes lighter super quick. But what I'm gonna do for the bottom, I went ahead and pre cut some foil. I am gonna wrap in the bottom pieces and foil to kind of help them get a little bit lighter. But yeah, so I'm going ahead and start with the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and mix the products and then I'll be back. All right guys, so just in case you ever, any of y'all were wondering what the kit comes with, it comes with two of the Frosting Design Lightning Powders. It comes with an after frosting conditioning shampoo. It comes with a Frosting Design Frosting Protective Cream. And then it comes with a Frosted Design Color Toning Rinse. Oh, and also the um, cream developer as well. And then it also comes with this Okay, so this is a highlighting cap. It comes with a little needle and the spatula. I'm going to use the spatula to mix up all the products, but I'm actually going to be freehanding it. I'm not going to be using the cap because honestly, I've done it before and sometimes it's a little painful and it's tedious and it takes longer, but you might get a better result. I don't know. I'm not sure this first time I'm freehanding it, so we'll see how it turns out. And you also do get a pair of gloves. It's just hiding in the little instructions right here. But yeah, I feel like a little old man reading the newspaper. Alrighty, so the instructions basically are saying mix all the lightning powder, all the cream developer in the little tub, mix up real good, and then go ahead and open up your frosting protective cream, and then you just use it by puncturing the top, and then you just put the whole tube in, mix it all together well, and then you're ready with your paste. Alright guys, so now I have my mixture officially done. This is what it's supposed to look like. It's like a little whipped, creamy texture. Alright, yeah, that's how we get started. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Alright guys, this is it. So go ahead and get a little piece. Okay guys, is that a sign that like I shouldn't do my hair or... Alright guys, so I'm decided I'm still gonna do it anyways. Let's try this again. Okay, I'm gonna section out my first piece. Let's get a little bit of my finger. Alright. There's no going back now. Ah, I blend it up. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, I hope 
I can show you how it looks. So I'm gonna foil these pieces. I've never foiled before, so I think something like that. And just like fold the end. Good enough for me. Okay, so this is what it's looking like right now. So for all of you who are new to foiling, we're kind of getting a technique down, kind of somewhat. So what I'm doing is I'll grab a little piece I want, say it's this piece right here. Good, that's a lot. Get a little bit of my finger, make sure the bottom is completely saturated and then blend it up to the top. Just kind of blending it out, pushing upwards, bringing the rest back down. What I'll do is I'll get the foil, I'll lay it, bleach in, grab that part with my finger. Fold the bottom down, so it's like that. Get my finger, press it a little, kind of fold it in half like that, and then just fold from there. And I'm just trying to make like a little ball, so there's like a little bit of air coming through. Yeah, that's the technique I've been using. I don't know if y'all want to try that, maybe, maybe not. We'll see how it turns out. Yeah, guys, do you like my new hairstyle so far? I need more foil. <laughs> You got it off! Yay! Mm -hmm. Now here's another one. Alright. <laughs> Teamwork. Teamwork looks like your work. Alright, so this is my last piece. I'm going to go ahead and foil the bottom. And then, now I'm going to move on to the top, you guys. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and let the top down. And the top, I'm not going to be foiling. Let her fall where she falls. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. <laughs> you know what, I'm going to go ahead and throw all of these to the back. I'm going to let my new hair, the top of my hair fall forward. So I can just see where I want to place everything. Like I said, I'm not going to be foiling the top. I'm just going to let it fall, kind of where it falls. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys, sweaty hands and plastic gloves do not mix well together. Grabbing some pieces for the top. And just gonna kind of paint it on. Just like that. Grab another piece, get some more. Right now, these ones we're gonna make sure we're coating really, really good. So it's really nice and white, opaque at the bottom. I'm just gonna blend it out. When you blend up, push up in your hair. You get a really nice blend. I hope. <laughs> Alright guys, so I think this is my last little piece I'm going to do for the top. It's a red! I think that looks okay. So kind of what we're looking at here. And if you make a mistake, just have a little wet rag and you can kind of like clean up a little bit. I think I'm actually going to touch up this one right here. Because in the front, I'm going to get a little bit lighter at the bottom. Get a little bit lighter right here. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's not do that. You just going to get your towel and just oh, wipe away the boo boos. I think I'm just going to leave it with that and let's see how it turns out. I found a little piece, I guess. If I touched it, we'll do it. Alright, you guys. I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to jump in the shower and I'll let you see the end results. Alright guys, so these are the kind of the ending results. Alright guys, let's see how it turns out. Okay, actually guys, I think this little bag goes over your head whenever you wear the cap, but I didn't use the cap. But I think I'm still gonna go ahead and put it over my hair to get some extra heat, so maybe lighten it up a little quicker. And 
one goes on the other side. At least it's like some extra heat, right? Alright guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this in probably for like 30 minutes. Check on it, see how it looks. If it needs like a couple more minutes, it will. But yeah, let's see how this goes. Alright guys, so this is 30 minutes in. Not too much lightning in the front, but the back is definitely lightning. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in for about like 15 more minutes and then go ahead and wash it out. And then after I wash it out, I'm gonna go ahead and do these turning rinse while your hair is damp because it says to use it while your hair is damp. Okay guys, so I just washed out the shampoo that it came with and the toner and you can already see it's getting lighter. Look at that. Oh my god. I think it looks pretty cute. So it's dried a little bit more. So this is what it's looking like now. It's not completely dry yet, but you can definitely see it. it's a lot lighter than what it was. Alrighty y'all, so here are the results of my hair straightened. And oh my gosh, you guys, I'm in love with the way the color came out. I am so impressed. I would definitely try this product again. But yeah, you guys, I really, really like it. Another thing, I really, really like that hair oil I got. It smells so good and it leaves your hair so smooth and shiny. And I did try that shampoo and conditioner. Now, I don't know if it did too much, like a toning or anything like that, but it did smell really, really good. So I'm also happy with that. But yeah, you guys, it's perfect. It's like not too crazy. Like I didn't want super crazy bright blonde, but it's definitely still noticeable. It just looks very like natural i just love the tones you guys i'm really really happy with the results but yeah you guys if y'all like this video please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel but yeah until next time